We're supposed to be moving forward towards WrestleMania, but on Saturday night, we had a show called Roadblock, which stopped a little bit of the progress. What did you guys think of the uh, the, li- the live event, Roadblock? W- one, one question. Um, Didn't block much. <laughs> one question. Are my feet under the table? They're not quite. Okay, just like Dean Ambrose. There, yeah, I was going to say, okay. they're, they're <laughs> under the table. Okay, okay thank you. Um, it was their best live event. I, I was really enjoyed. The Divas match was great. The, ta- the tag match was great. The main event was awesome, but it kind of shaded the WrestleMania main event, in my opinion. Yeah, I think it, it'll overshadow what they do in the main event there. Eric, what do you think of Roadblock? I thought overall, you know, good show. The in-ring work was good. I mean, overall, nothing really altered anything you were already expecting for Mania, which I think, as a fan, I was disappointed about. I wanted to see something change. Uh, at the same time, I think my biggest appointment was still the NXT tag match. Yeah. I just want to see Enzo and Cassidy. We'll get to that. Titles, yeah. We'll get to <laughs> yeah. that. Overall show, was, you know, the uh, main event was better than than what I expected. I kind of expected a match, I mean, to go in Triple H's favor. Um, Dean, you know, had the controversial pin. You know, your feet under the rope, yeah. under the yeah. table. They're under the table now. Yeah, yeah I, I, as a, top to bottom, it was a good show. I this. These things seem to get like a lot of ridicule leading up to it. Like we made fun of the name the whole the whole show last yeah, week. We had a yield sign last a week. A lot of people <laughs> made fun of it just being like a house show that was televised, but for a lot of the quote unquote internet wrestling community, the hardcore fans that that like to talk about the wrestling not being emphasized, this was a show that was all about the wrestling. Good matches from beginning to end. Nothing was really, you know, a big spot fest. It was a lot of just good wrestling matches. It's what it was all about. Um I think we all kind of knew they really were not going to change the, the main event of WrestleMania this close. We all, I think we all hoped Ambrose would go over, but it was a great match. He looked really good in that match. I mean, he showed you know, he could pin Triple H. And uh, I thought it was a good show, all in all. And it's, it's a good little incentive for people to have the WWE Network. Something we got that people couldn't get on pay per view. Well, they missed a big. I don't think it was the best live event. I think Beast in the East was even really? better than that. That yeah. was a good one. Yeah, I, I didn't care, especially that main, that long main event tag match I, in at Beast East. I didn't really care for it. The, the KO Balor match was great, but I didn't care for Beast in the East that much. But they missed a big opportunity here because they're giving away the WWE Network for free and for for WrestleMania. You want people to subscribe? You could. You had opportunity to give a title change and didn't give it. Have something happen so you, you could sell. Anything can happen on the network. They well, missed that, an opportunity. That was something I personally thought that they they really built Ambrose as I'm throwing a monkey wrench into your plans. I'm a wild card basically. I'm I'm going to change everything, and then ultimately he didn't. Um, but, I mean, but no picture really changed. I mean, even if you you factor the tag titles, were on. You know, they were on the line. And, you know, shout out to the New Day, defending the titles three times in eight days. But at the same time, there's nothing changed. The tag team division, whether it was on the main roster or NXT, it didn't change. Nothing changed really for the mid card. The main event didn't change. Brock's picture didn't change. Nothing changed. The one thing that I feel did, it's, it wasn't necessarily a change, but I think it moved the story forward a little bit. You know I've been talking a lot about Ambrose being looked at as Roman's little brother and nobody respects him as much as they should and he talked a lot he he told Triple H on Raw last week I will earn your respect he came into this he also said that a lot of times he doesn't really know what he's doing He, he just flies by the seat of his pants sometimes it doesn't work out for him like when he got beat down by Brock sometimes it does work like when he got himself a title match at Roadblock um so one thing, he did earn that respect, I think. He showed he belonged. He showed he could push the game, the King of Kings, to his absolute limit. Could pin him one, two, three. And then the way he lost was taking a risk. He went for the elbow on the table, put himself through it, goes right in the ring to beat the 10 count, walks right into a pedigree. That was another thing where his, his mentality of not really thinking things through was what cost him the match. So I think those two aspects of Dean Ambrose were pushed forward a little bit. 